Good to see you. You too. How are you doing? I'm well. Welcome Good. to Wango Tango. Thank you so much. This is awesome. And you performed already, right? I did, yes. How was it? The village. It was a lot of fun. A lot of fans came out. Yeah, what was the energy like out there? Man, every time, every time I'm in LA, the energy is awesome. Days and Confused music video, yeah. I love it. Thank it's you. so good. Thanks so much. What was it? Did, yeah. What was the inspiration behind it? Like, how did you come up with the, kind of the whole direction of it, the creative? Uh, it's funny. This is actually the first music video that um, my label and my whole team and management kind of trusted my best friend Edgar enough nice. to shoot it. Really? So yeah, so so, cool. so my best friend shot the music video. We kind of just wrote the treatment together. Whatever we, whatever popped in our minds, no matter how crazy or abstract, that's what we ended up doing. So we got, we got singing fruits we got my head in floating in a freezer we got me kissing a grandma at the end it's a really cool video you can tell you're definitely having fun on set so i feel like that probably added the energy that your best friend was shooting it absolutely yeah there was no pressure or anything i mean all my friends were there my family it was in miami where i live so it was awesome yeah what's the most random job you've ever had a supermarket employee you were, yeah, yeah. Bad boy. that's why we uh that's why we wanted to do that my first job the second i turned 14 um i applied at this place called Publix in florida and I was a, a bag boy. I, I, I wasn't that. really feeling it though, so. So, gotta get out. No. Gotta follow that, those yeah, music dreams. Yeah, exactly. And you're starting your tour, your Dazed and Confused tour in yeah. July. What are you most looking forward to? How are you prepping for this? Um, in terms of prepping, I mean, I just wanna give the fans a show that they haven't seen before because I've already been on two tours and I wanna make sure it's different than the last ones. Um, I got some new some new material from the last EP that I'm excited to perform. It's just going to be bigger. This, we have like a big cool stage plot and we're going to have confetti and it's, it's going to be awesome. I just can't wait to get out there and see the fans again. Yeah, you got to do push-ups. I feel like that's part of it, right? Every day, yeah. yeah. It's really excited, obviously. I'm really excited too. I'm not really sure when it's coming out, uh, hopefully soon. I just know we got a lot of great songs that are, that are in the make right now. And um, I can't really tell you anything about features yet, but it's a great album. It's going to be really cool. The music you put out and the stuff you're working on now, how are they maybe different and how are they similar? Okay, um, the new stuff I've been working on is a little bit more singy. Still rapping though. Um, within the last few days, I've kind of tried this new direction where it's kind of like Bruno Mars meets Pharrell, ah. which is really cool. I'm like the most excited about these last few songs that I've been in a while. Um, so that might be like the beginning of the vibe for the album. I mean, I kind of got to make like a hundred songs to find the perfect, like yeah. 12. Any collabs we can expect in the album you can kind of maybe give? Besides Travi McCoy on Days and Confused, I, I can't really give you anything yet. Come on, Jake! I, oh. I would tell you if I, I knew. I don't even know. <laughs> but uh, but we'll, there will be something cool. First album you ever purchased? I think it might have been like Yellow Card. Nice! Yeah. Ocean Avenue. Yeah, that, that was it. How about first concert you ever attended? In sync. Yeah. Wait, I have to. Were you? Who was your favorite? Was it JT Yeah, of course. Like he was everyone's, oh God, right? I idolized him, and um, I always like I've met a lot of cool people throughout this whole journey, but I always think it's like the craziest that like me and Lance Bass are friends because they were like the first group that I ever like. That's how I fell in love with music love from InSync, and so now I'm like friends with Lance Bass. It's really weird. Everybody my age was a huge yeah. fan of InSync back then. Um, I'm still a huge fan of all of them, but I mean, uh, I don't think he knows just how, how much I... Posters on your wall, yeah. perhaps. <laughs> I mean, I might not even be in the music industry right now if it wasn't for NSYNC, so, so yeah. Has Lance given you any advice on the industry or anything like that? We actually, uh, we've been talking about getting together and doing an interview, so we'll, we'll be talking a lot more That's of them. Awesome. Yeah. And of course, I always make you dance when we're here. Don't hate me, but can you show me your, like, Wango Tango? My uh, Wango Tango. Uh, Wango yeah. Tango. Wango Tango. Hey, hey. He always brings the best dance moves, this guy. Oh, Thank thanks. you so much, yeah. Jake. It's <laughs> so good to so see much. you. Good to see you. Have fun today.